I'm taking Keto OS for about uh, four months now, and I've hit a brick wall. I can't lose any weight. Have you heard that? You heard something like that? Well, it kind of happened to me, and I wanted to make a quick video and kind of um, give you some perspective. Um, I, uh, I Again, I have been taking Keto OS for more than four months now. Uh, lost weight consistently every week, up until uh, a few weeks ago, when I started traveling again, and I was traveling extensively. I traveled for about uh, four weeks, uh, back to back to back to back. And I thought I was doing pretty good uh, on the road. I was eating relatively healthy. Uh, still wasn't eating carbs, wasn't eating bread, wasn't eating pasta, wasn't eating fried breaded stuff. Uh, was eating, uh, you know, what I thought was healthy. And um, got back uh, each week, and I hadn't lost any weight. Now, I hadn't gained any weight, so that was a, at least a positive. And, uh, you know, I kind of got, got down on myself a little bit. You know, here's another week's went by. You haven't done anything. You haven't lost any weight. And rather than blaming the product or blaming, you know, whoever, I decided to sit down and, and really look at the situation and look at myself and say, okay, you know, it was working before. What's changed? Um, what am I doing differently? Uh, be honest. You know, what are you not doing? And so as I started kind of writing down this, this little checklist of, uh, you know, what have I been doing? What have I been doing right? What have I been doing wrong? I noticed that, uh, and I didn't really realize this until I really sat down and started writing, writing it down like day by day. Did I take my keto OS two times a day? Um, what did I eat? When did I eat? How much did I eat? What kind of foods did I eat? And not so much did I eat too much, but did I eat the right kind of food? Did I eat... Uh, high fat food? Did I eat moderate protein? Uh, did I eat too many carbs? Did I eat uh, too much sugar? And as I started going down the list and looking at, uh, you know, possible reasons why I wasn't losing any weight, it was very evident. Um, I had not been taking my keto S every day. I'd been taking it once a day. There was even days I skipped it all, all together um, because I was on the road and I'd get busy and I'd forget to take the packets with me and I wouldn't take any in the morning and then I'd take one in the afternoon and then I'd forget because I'd have a customer uh, dinner. Um, I stopped doing my uh, keto coffee or bulletproof coffee. I, I, I think I maybe, maybe did that once or twice a week. Um, and, uh, and I also stopped doing any kind of exercise. Now I've not really been exercising. I've been walking a few days a week. Um, I've been, you know, I've been using this Fitbit and I keep telling people that I'm, that I'm doing that, but I've noticed that my steps have went down. Uh, I had been averaging about six to 7,000 steps and, and working towards getting to 10,000. And I noticed that in that time period, um, yes, I had some days where I had 8,000 or 10,000 or 11,000 steps in a day, especially during conferences where I walked around a lot. Uh, but then there were days where I had 2,000 steps or 3,000 steps. I uh, also realized that I had not been um, uh, doing any kind of exercise whatsoever. I had not been walking. I had not been going to the gym or doing anything. And I had start, started going to the gym, uh, you know, a couple of days a week. So for that time during my travel, uh, I really hadn't done any of that. So I decided to kind of reboot the system and see if I could get back on track. So I went back to doing two keto OS's a day. I went back to having my bulletproof coffee, and I'm alternating between my my keto cream and my and my full fledged bulletproof coffee with with the uh, Kerrygold butter and the coconut oil and uh, and having that. And I, it, that seems to work for me to 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 bounce between the two. I like the ke the keto cream when I'm traveling because it's easy. I don't travel with butter or coconut oil. Um, but when I'm at home, I actually like the butter and the coconut oil in my coffee. And I'm not a super big coffee drinker, so I actually have to remind myself uh, to drink my coffee uh, and to drink it within a short period of time. Otherwise, I end up reheating it. And I don't know if that has anything to do with, uh, with the contents, but um, I just don't want to be drinking one cup of coffee or two cups of coffee or a cup and a half, whatever it mixes up to be, uh, over you know a whole day. Um, so I did. I, I really buttoned down. I started taking my keto OS twice a day. Uh, I started taking my um, uh, keto coffee or bulletproof coffee uh, every day. 
Uh, I started, um, I walked a little bit a couple times, not, not jumped on and started doing anything crazy, but just started trying to get my steps up, uh, and, um, uh, and, and get it back up to five or 6,000 steps a day. And then I walked on the treadmill, I think two or three times in the last week or so, uh, for like a half an hour to 45 minutes. Uh, and that's really been good because what's happened is boom, I got right back into it. So I got down to, uh, 253 pounds from 286, six, um, good jump right in the beginning, lost a bunch of weight the first nine days, and then I was consistently losing about 2.2 pounds a week. And then I hit about a three week, three and a half week stretch where I didn't lose any weight. It was 253, uh, I might be 253.2, I might be do 252.8, but it was right there at 253 constantly. Um, and, and then I rebooted. And when I rebooted very quickly within a couple days, I started going down again. I got down to 250. I got under the magic mark of 250, and I got down to, to where I am today, um, 248.4. Uh, the lowest I've been in, gosh, I don't know, um, probably eight, at least eight years. Um, so I just want to make this quick video to say, if you think you've hit a brick wall, really evaluate what's going on. Really evaluate what you're doing, because more than likely, there's a whole bunch of small things going on. I was eating relatively healthy, but I was eating out i was eating at restaurants who knows what they put in their food even in their vegetables you get sauteed vegetables but you don't know kind of salt they're putting in there what kind of other preservatives they're putting in there um in their meat you don't know the quality of their meat you don't know where they get their produce from um you know what the quality of the seasonings are they're using i'm i'm convinced that if you ate the same meal at home and the same meal out on the road that the meal at home would be healthier for you because you know what you put into it so I just want to make a quick video. I'm back on track. Will I stay on track? Will I fall off and have, you know, another week or two weeks or a period of time where I'm not losing weight? Probably. My body's changing. Things are changing. Um, some things I'm doing now that, that help me lose weight, I'm going to have to change later. In the very beginning, I didn't have to do any exercise at all. Now I do need to get my calorie count, uh, uh, get my uh, exercise count up so that my calorie count can stay where it's at. Um, I don't want to eat less. I don't want to eat. I don't want to count calories and do all that. So as I start getting uh, leaner and leaner, I'm going to have to add back more exercise. That just helps your whole body work and helps things work better. So hopefully somebody gets something out of this. Um, I just thought it was um, pretty amazing that within a couple days of just getting right back on track, I was back to losing weight again. So if you've stalled, if you've hit a brick wall and you can't lose any weight, really look at what's going on. Be honest with yourself. That's the toughest part to say, all right, what did I really do? Did I really do the things I'm supposed to do? Uh, and if you are if you think you are and it's not working for you, try tweaking it. Maybe you do need to walk some more. Maybe you do need to cut back your calories some more. Maybe you do need to increase your fat some more. Um, definitely look at what works for you. What worked for me was, was staying on this regimen, two keto OSs a day, bulletproof coffee every morning, uh, I eat two meals a day, high in fat, moderate protein, low carb, no sugar, as much as I possibly can and make everything God's food um, as fresh as I possibly can make it. Nothing in a box, nothing in a bag, uh, as fresh as I possibly can. I hope this helped. Take care.